Good evening and welcome to ABC Action News at 530. I'm Lauren St. Germain. Paul has the day off. So many people are at the beach this weekend and bird advocates want people to leave the flocks on the beach alone. ABC Action News reporter Wendy Lane is on St. Pete Beach for us and she tells us more about the disruption of a colony of these protected birds and what volunteers are doing to try and help. You can tell they have emotions. For years, Cindy Perry has been volunteering to educate people about the protected shorebird, the black skimmer. How unusual they are, the way they skim the water for fish, how their lower bill is longer than their upper. And how they come back to St. Pete Beach every summer to nest on top of the sand and raise their chicks, which makes them vulnerable to predators and is why Audubon volunteers rope off their nesting area. But last week, Holly Short with Audubon Florida says the predators were people. They snuck in um, in the middle of the night, so it was dark out. Volunteers say someone came in here, knocked down all the signs and fencing, and let a firework off in the middle of them, scaring all the birds away. Which caused them to leave their eggs uh, unattended, and by the next day, all of the eggs had been eaten. The colony of about 400 black skimmers returned to their nesting area behind condos near the Serrata Beach Resort, and the fencing was put back up to help keep the birds safe again. My reaction to that is that people who can't see the beauty here are missing a lot. Volunteers say the best thing people can do to help the black skimmers are give the birds about 100 feet of space, walk around colonies, never attempt to feed them, avoid bringing dogs or fireworks anywhere near the colony, and know that harassing them is illegal. All you can do is just try to help them see the beauty. In St. Pete Beach, Wendy Lane, ABC Action News.